hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide how to install the latest kali linux on the virtual box so before installation of the kali linux you need to open the task manager guys and go to performance click on cpu and make sure the virtualization should be enabled here if it is showing disabled you need to go to bios and then you have to enable it and then you can proceed with the installation of kali linux in the virtual box so let's start without wasting our time guys so first of all we need to install the virtual box so it's easy just open the google chrome or whichever you use and type here download virtual box and once you search that you need to click on first option and you need to select for windows here we are going to install it on windows just click on that and simply you need to double click on this and it will be run similarly we need to install the kali linux the iso file of kali linux so type for kali linux download go to first link and inside here the installer images click on recommended and then it's already selected here 8664 bit this is for apple silicon for this is for windows and simply you need to click on download button here once you click on download the download will be started here it is around 14.1 gb it will take time depending on your internet so while it is virtual box is downloaded here you need to go to its location and you just need to double click on this setup and simply you need to install it click on yes button when the prompt opens and kali linux i have just installed it the latest package is here 25.1 this is the latest as today 12.4 just you need to click on next 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 and install it so i have already installed the virtual box as well as the iso file on my windows so i'm going to run the virtual box so this is the virtual box i have downloaded just double click on the setup once it is downloaded and once this is downloaded i have created here many machines so you need to click on here new it will be fresh here just name it kali and this is a folder location where the vms data will be stored i mean the hard disk data will be stored here then click on iso and select the iso file here click on other and simply go to download and select the kali linux just double click on the setup okay and then click on next here and memory you can give minimum 2 gb but more is recommended like 4 gb you can give i have only 4 gb so i'm giving 2 gb cpu that is also depending on you i'm going to give 2 okay then click on next hard disk space minimum you need to give at least 30 gb so i'm going 30 gb and click on next and click on finish once the it is finishes you need to right click on the setup then go to its settings and we need to tweak some changes here shared copy you can choose the bi-directional both the way vm and your locally will be copy and paste will be happening with this steps the rest is okay setting is okay here we have already enable all the options you can untick floppy disk but that is recommended if nothing is working on your windows i am leaving everything as default go to display and select it to the large like 128 most of the system it has but if you have more than that just select that option monitor leave as it is graphic controller leave as it is default vm svg whatever your manufacturer is recommended and extended feature that is not required 
we are now all set enable network select the net here it will be netted and your internet will be working also with this open if it is not working you can select the bridge adapter then USB all the things are ready here now we need to click on OK and now let's turn on the Kali Linux now we are going to install it it's very easy you just need to focus few things in the virtual box it is very easy to install I have downloaded 7.0 now you need to select here graphical install the first option uh, let me make it bigger yes it's good now select the first option graphical install and once you select here the first option you just need to wait here let me also also minimize the taskbar so that you can see it properly okay now English is selected here just leave everything default click on continue location I'm going to select India so you need to select your region configure your keyboard so I'm good with the American English click on continue now this is the host name of your computer so I'm going to give as Kali you can give whatever you like click on continue configure the domain that is not recommended okay so you can leave it blank then click on continue now this is this will be your username so I'm giving here Kali you need to remember the password and the Kali I'm giving the password as Kali in a small then click on continue a strong password cannot be guessed set up a strong password it is saying let's choose Kali okay I am giving it Kali then click on continue and you just need to wait configure a clock now in this section just select the first option guided use the entire disk since we have selected the 30 GB so don't worry that is the virtual disk as you can see 32 is showing here just we are good to go click on continue and now select the all partition in one file recommended for new users just select the first option here and then select here continue easily and select the finish partitioning and write changes to disk it's already been created here just click on continue so select here yes write the changes to disk so obviously we need to click on yes option now after waiting for a few minutes you will see this screen leave everything defaults here if your PC is latest and powerful you can choose the genome one but I'm leaving everything as default just select continue and this will take around 10 to 15 minutes just to wait and sit relax now once we see this screen we need to select yes we want to install the grub loader that is a bootloader now you need to select here the second option this is the second option don't go with enter manually just select this and install it again it will take some time but not more just almost finish the installation click on continue just select your username that is Kali and password is also Kali and click on login so this is the latest Kali 
this is looking different from the previous one but this is the latest one so now let's open the terminal and first of all we need to update the Kali Linux okay so first command is sudo apt and update press the enter key and simply enter the password that is Kali so press the up arrow key and this time we need to select here and you need to enter here upgrade this time space hyphen y so this is all about the so i hope guys this video is helpful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching